Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is my Pieces and Patterns Triangular Box, and I love it. What I love particularly about this is that you can get two from a sheet of cardstock. Now, um, in the USA, you work with eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So um, I would go with a full eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. The rest of us who work in International A4, we work with eight and a quarter inches by 11 and three quarters. So if you wanna get two from a sheet, you're gonna to have to cut yours down to eight and a quarter, but eight and a quarter, eight and a half by five and a half inches in metric 21 by 14. Um, and yeah, so this is Sahara sand. I went with Flirty Flamingo for the first one because I had all the flowers, but I've kind of used the floral one a lot recently. And I thought, when I was putting this together, I thought, I'm going to use those weird crushed curry mushrooms. And when I was looking for them, I stumbled across this one and I thought, oh, I've not even seen the hedgehogs. Missed them completely. And the moose and the raccoon and the bear and the snail. Oh, going to have to use that one. So I've gone with the Sahara sand, which is on the bear and the hedgehog and the moose. Lost his antlers, but I wanted the raccoon. So that's why I'm going with Sahara sand this time around. So super easy. Two, four, six and eight inches and here you go so we've only got a quarter of an inch to play with if you're international a4 if you're metric if you're imperial um usa you've got a little extra you've got half an inch to play with um in metric 5 10 15 and 20 and then come along and mark it at three and seven inches which is seven and a half and 17 and a half is that 17 and a half i haven't written it down it is 17 and a half <sighs> hurts doesn't it so that's the top so keep that to the right hand side and score it at don't jump it score it at two inches which is five centimeters okay so the little marks I made I'm going to do my triangles my other faithful triangles they just make this box finish so beautifully um, you don't have to put them in if you're working with a thinner weight card or a lighter weight cardstock or paper, but I like the finish very, very much. And I put those in, so in they go. Right. Burnish my skin lines. I'm going to be doing some fussy cutting today. That's going to be fun, isn't it? I don't do fussy cutting. But I really want to get the bear. I want to stamp him and punch him as well. No, I don't want to punch him at all. I want to cut him. No, that's even worse. I want to stamp and I want to cut him out and I want to get him on the front of my project. So what I've done here is I've nicked out at the top of that skinny bit and then taken that away. And I'm going to cut round here. So the finished dimensions of this box, it's two inches all the way round and it measures from that part to that part there, three and a half inches, which in metric is nine by five centimeters. Now, who do I want on the front? Do I want the bear on the front or do I want the moose and the hedgehog? I'm gonna go for the moose and the hedgehog because I'm gonna cut, stamp and cut out a bear. So I'm gonna put the bear on the back. I'm going to put that one on the front and then before I carry on I am going to stamp my bear because I'm using basic black archival and I'm going to do a little bit of water colouring. So basic black, my matching pieces and patterns so you can see I fussy cut the flower and do a particularly good job so how I'm going to do with a bear I've no idea. Wish me luck boys and girls. So let's get a bear on. I need room to cut round because I'm a bit hopeless. That's just ordinary whisper white. Um, I've got my Sahara sand here, so I'm just turning the lid into sort of like an artist palette. And aqua painter. And just a bit of a wash of a colour. Whoops. Oh, I did that too dark. Oh well. There we go, I'm just going to set that off to dry now. 
while I do the rest. So come back to this. So we've got these lovely triangles, so just gently fold them. And then fast fuse is too wide, so is snail, but our tear and tape is just the right width. However, I'm going to show you a tip. I'm going to deliberately make this stick off the edge. So it's sticking out way too far on that side. You can see that's tear and tape there. So I'm going to show you a little trick. You take off the backing, and can you still see it? What you do is you fold that over on itself, and because it's double sided, it's going to stick. So there's now no more tear and tape on display. You've fully glued up that side. So when you stick it down, tra -la! Perfect. Okay, that's the bit I wibbled. Fortunately, that's the back. Got my fuse because it's here. So that's the front. Now I went with black baker's twine because actually when I built this, I had I only had uh, I didn't have our new products. So, but now I've got this beautiful extra fine sheer ribbon. So what's this? One eighth of an inch wide? One eighth of an inch wide. 3.2 millimetres, so less than half a centimetre. And this is the Whisper White one. So I don't have a great deal left on the reel, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get it round three times. Oh, just... Oh, <laughs> I didn't leave enough length to tie a bow. Oh. Dangerous, aren't I? Okay, let's try that again. It's extra time for the water colouring to dry. Still not convinced I'm going to get a bow, but you know, we'll have a go. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? The tiniest bit of ribbon. Nails are too long and fingers are too fat. Oh, well, it's sideways. It's a sideways bow that looks awfully pretty up there. There we go. Right, okay. Now, fussy cutting isn't my forte, but I'm told that you, you turn the card, not the scissors, and you use this bit here rather than the tip. So well, let's have a go at this. This is probably quite an easy shape to do. Um, Or perhaps not. I'm in awe of people who can fussy cut. I don't actually know why it's called fussy cutting and not just cutting out. See, I know the principles. This will be fun going around here. Well, it's not the greatest job, but it's not the worst job in the world. That's okay, isn't it? Right. Oh, and I meant to keep a, <laughs> I meant to keep a bit of that to do a little stamping on. So enjoy today. I'm going to put that along, just along here. Let's grab a block. So, oh, that's far too big. That one will do. So what I'm going to do is I'm lining up my block over my piece of Whisper White. So I've got... The left hand side of the, the paper butting up to there. Positioning that, I'm using not these parts, not the letters hanging down, but this part here. I'm going to line that up where I want it to be it's in a straight line. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she says ever hopeful. Oh, I think I might go, you know what, I'm going to change my mind and put Emerald Envy on that. That's the other colour. And hopefully now, if I line up the left hand side with that, that should be just about right for a straight line. And what I can do now is trim off. Uh, 
that excess there. And that excess there. And then I've got a little bit too much on that side. Oh, I've just thrown it on the floor. Oh, that was rude of me, wasn't it? There we go. And I can put that on the front with some dimensionals. Enjoy today. Hmm. And I can put my little bear up there too. I'm proud of myself. I fussy cut something. My little bear up there. You see, can't see the hedgehog at all now, but you know, there we go. The principal was there. <laughs> what do you think? I like that. That's too cute. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.